and he he just. We are born with a desire to sin. Therefore, you need to be intentional to work out a character of God. Amen. A character that will allow you to work with other people. Amen. A character that allows you to serve among other people. You know, because you need to admit alone you cannot. Exactly. Humanities were never created to live in isolation. When God entered the garden, he found this guy alone. He says, it's not good that you can exist alone. Because human beings are born to exist in networks. What, what destroys some of these blessings God gave us? An undeveloped character. And, and you see, the thing with character is that it's formed. When a child is born, they don't have a character. They are waiting for the environment and the people around them to help them formulate the character. So we participated and other people participated in making the horrible us. Therefore, we must participate with others with intentionality to make the better us. It will not correct itself. You see, for example, if a person decides to be a liar, you will not wake up one day and no longer lie. You must tell yourself, I am a liar, and I must admit I'm a liar. And acknowledge I'm a liar. And say, I want to change from no longer lying then you can start practicing to not lie. But because it's been too long lying, it will be difficult. You will always falter back into the old character. Because you need to understand, the things that we do, the actions that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, they will ultimately form a habit. How many of us know a habit? Many people have got different habits, you know? Omumunokrea, I, 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 I and uh, they are not conscious that they are doing that. Others, like Muruti Peri, will be hitting the fire. And he's not aware until you tell him, but what's happening on the thigh? Why, why, do, you keep on, why do you keep on beating the thigh? You know? Others will scratch their head. <laughs> it, it, but, but those people are not aware they are doing that because it's, it's a habit but it's not yet a character when it moves from a habit it will become a character so that means that's you every minute walk when you walk you do it but because it's still a habit it's in, in, in bits and bits so character need to be built. Character, and you must be intentional in building a character. 
I'm telling you, you can succeed in anything. Relationships, marriage, work, church, purpose, business, work, whatever. You can never succeed if character is not built. You will always be surprised. Why when people come close to me, after a short while, they are no longer close to me? Why, why I start relationships well with people, but after a while, the people have walked out of me? Then, because you know what you're going to say? There is a spirit of rejection upon my life. There is a spirit, Mfundis, um, please pray with me. There is a spirit of rejection. And we say, why do you think there is a spirit of rejection? No, 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 no. I mean, w when people, it's like there is a bad order on my life. When people come into my life, in no time, they push me to the side. And, and I can start a new relationship with good people, but give me six months, it will start to, to drift apart. Okay? It was with Maskosan. Now, it is with Murtuma. The other time, it is with Mama Ken. The other time, it is with Wish. I mean, can't you see there is no spirit of rejection? There is no spirit of rejection. There is no devil involved in there. It's just that your character is undeveloped. As such, it always put you in a bad things. It's, it's always been, and, and that is why when we serve God, we gather to serve God, we must be intentional in developing a godly character. A habit of being godly and good. So we said, number one, you need to let the peace of God rule in your heart. You can only give what you have. If, you see, when a person is kimutwandu, even if you are like, hey, now this shirt is wonder. Before you finish saying it's full, say, so no, 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 just say what you want. I, I know, I know what you are. Just please, save, save my time, save my time. Don't go corner, 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 corner. Just look at me in the eye and tell me, please give me 20 rand. Don't, don't tell <laughs> Why do you want to come with corners and corners and corners and look at me straight and tell me, don't stop with my hairstyle. I know it's nice. Stop with my dress. I know it's nice. Because you don't have peace. There is suspicion always inside of you. You know, it's like the FBI. When they see a capacity, suspicion rise. So you, you're always suspicious because you don't have peace inside. And Bazalon, I tell you the truth, you can only give what you have. If you don't have money, you can't give somebody money. If you don't have peace, you lack peace, you can never give peace, and you can never be peaceful. You, you must first, and that is why I pray that God help us. The problem is not you, the problem is me. The problem is not the next person. The problem is the first person. I must check myself. And I must not say, oh no, but people are, are, are speaking bad to me. But if we're going to investigate that, check how you speak to people first. And they respond to you at the level you spoke to them. You went to them shouting, then they shouted back. Then you come, you blame people and say, everybody's shouting at you. But how did you talk to them at first? You can't give what you don't have. So we said, allow the peace of God to rule your heart. And number two, we said, bear with other people. That's where we spoke about tolerance. Tolerate other people. And three, we said, forgive each other. Because when we work together, we said even last week, the time when the meat is nice, the teeth will bite the tongue. But they still work together even today in the same mouth. The tongue cannot roll back and say, I'm no longer working with the teeth, you bite me. Whenever you feel nice, you bite me. The teeth bite the tongue. You bleed, you swallow that bleeding, and tomorrow 
you eat apple nice again. <laughs> Why can't we forgive one another? Yeah. If the teeth forgave the tongue, and the tongue forgave the teeth, and they can work together for that next day's due, oh, what? we can forgive each other. You, you remember, you, it was like my mom, that song, yeah, yeah, like you do, yeah. <laughs> The rats and the cats forgave each other. Why can't we forgive each other? <laughs> well, it's a, very weird. it's a prophetic song. It's a, it's a prophetic song. So only the prophets will know it. The, the, the rat and the cat forgave each other. Why can't we do? But I'm only, you can never go anywhere without forgiveness. Even at work. You will be the only one if you have an office, you will be the only one in that office. You will talk to nobody. Because no one is formed and developed like you. You can be good, 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 good like God. But not everybody is good, 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 good. That's why you need to exercise tolerance. How do you tolerate a pathological lie? A person who put in a white dress like that and say, I'm putting a pink dress, and they make you to believe it's pink. So you need, you need to learn tolerance. Amen. Don't just talk people. Tolerate. Tolerate. There is a good out of every person. But without tolerance, you're not going to tap into the good of that person. Because all you're focusing on is the bad of that particular person. Even the worst person you hate, there is something good that they can teach you. It takes maturity to tap into the stage of tolerance. Amen. Where you can say, okay, I hear your story, I hear what, 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 what that's fine, but, but let's deal with this problem. What is the value chain? How did we end up paying this and what? Then they will help you in a simple form, then you go away. It takes maturity and a well-developed character. So let the peace of God rule, bear with each other, forgive each other. Those are the three things that I talked about, that every church worker need to develop into their character. And we were in the book of Colossians. I'm, I'm going to ask that we go back there. Chapter number three, verse number 12. Colossians 3, 12. We are doing part two today. Colossians 3, 12. Um, Colossians 12. Uh, all of us, may we please read. Put on, therefore, as the chosen of God, as the different people, as those that are loved by God, bowels of mercy, mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, in brackets, patience. 13. Hotel and tolerance. Uh -huh. So also do ye the same. Forgive others. Next verse. And above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Hmm. I would well am verse 14. So Paul says, the other things that I've stated, I understand. <coughs> but after you have dressed your nice dresses, and your tie, and your suit, and the makeups, and everything, Paul says you can't go to church having not put on also love. Or I look beautiful, then tell yourself, uh -uh, if I did not put on love, I'm not done dressing. I, I need to put on charity, which is love. All other versions will say love. King James will say charity. He says, if you But I did not put on love, then you are incomplete because you are coming to serve God. 
And when you come into self God, you will meet people that they didn't have a wonderful day yesterday. You meet people that, you know, they are just going through divorce. They are just going through whatever. They were served with papers. Uh, they were told at work, don't come back on Monday. And, and they are coming here to try to heal the wound of the emotion. And they just become impossible to you. But if you didn't put on love, you'll not be able to bear with those people. So Paul says, before you even try to do anything, remember you are the chosen of the Lord. You are the beloved. You are loved by God. You are different. You are not like any other person. But after having said that, I remind you to put on love before you can start to serve. And the last verse. And let the peace of God rule really in your heart, to which also you are called in one body, and be thankful. Hey. So I want to maybe add two or three more points that I want us to talk about from this same portion as we work on our character. Let's start here. Put on humbleness. Put on Humbleness is the first thing that I want us to look at. The second thing is put on long suffering. Put on long suffering. See, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. If I can talk about those three things, I think I will be happy. Second, or let's start at the book of James, chapter 4, verse 6. Humbleness. The Bible says Moses was meek. There is a difference between meekness and humbleness. I'll start at humbleness and I will work. That is why it uses both of them. Humbleness, meekness, long suffering. It's, it's an intolerance. It's, it's not. So this one, uh, you, somebody asked last week, long suffering is patience. In a different version, it will say patience. Then there's meekness, then there's humbleness. These are the qualities of the character of a person that needs to serve the Lord. James chapter number 4, and we read verse 10, and then we read verse 6. James 10, um, James 4, 10, and 6. Start with verse 10. How do you know if a person is humble? Prophet Man, Romans Bible, Romans Bible, humble. Every month we go to bed, it's a Romanum. Yeah, but how do we tell if a person has pride? not compassion. <laughs> Help us. How do we know if a person is humble? The honorable. Uh, when I think a person is humble, he's in an elevated position. Almighty is uh, in a position where, like for example, a person gets money. That's when you can be able to know when a person is humble because is much more elevated in a privileged position. But even despite the fact that it's privileged, you will still be held like a normal person. Like nothing has happened to you. Or maybe you can also tell by... Okay, maybe let me ask you a question a bit different. If God makes you a man and you behave like a man and you dress like a man, is that pride? No. <laughs> so if God makes you something, 
and you behave like you are not it. Is that humbleness? No, no, that's self-righteousness. You see, if God makes you a pilot and you tell people, I'm a security guard, you are a liar. <laughs> it was for a reason it got me into a pilot. In telling the people the truth, I am a pilot, it is not pride. It is what you are. The question is, when do you tell the people, are you asked, are you... It becomes bright if somebody, let's say, will go shop right to a button, and that lady says, Baba, girile kinyaka kesha ginyaki. Then you start to say, hey, I'm an accountant. I know. You are pulling your position in a wrong place. But if, 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 if you acknowledge what God made you, at a relevant platform where it requires, it's not pride. And failure to do that, that constitutes pride. Because it was for a reason God put you like that. There is, I, I want us to work a little bit on this one. There is, there is an element where a person appear poor, thinking the image of poverty is a symbol of humbleness. It's not. If you don't bath, you smell. And you think by not bathing, people will say you are humble. It's a hygiene issue. Be what God said you are. That's not that's not a thing. So humility is a character, is a state of the heart where you don't want to justify yourself in wrong places about what God meant you. For example, if I go to ShopRite and I find a long queue, I can't say, attention, I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. At the funerals, pastor don't queue. We stand in front. I'm abusing what God has made me. Because I told you when we talked about authority, it's jurisdictional. A metropolis can direct traffic on the roads. But if a metropolis come here, it's under the direction of ashes. Yeah. Because authority is jurisdictional. Mm. So humility is a, is, a, is a state of the heart where you don't feel to play cards that are not needed to take somebody down or silence them. Mm. Actually, humility, it put in simple, is in the area where you know you know the best and a person come to lie to people, yeah. and you don't feel an edge and a right to step in uninvited oh and to start to talk to people about what you know. Mm -hmm. And you just be here and socialize with those people and whatever, and leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because your opinion was not requested. Mm -hmm. So when you, you force, you know, everybody must know. That is why a humble person can be what? Let's use accountant because you spoke about accountant. Mm -hmm. Can be an accountant. And we be here, we talk about everything, including money and the world and what. And then you, you be with them for eight months, having never known they are an accountant. Mm -hmm. Because there was nothing that needed us to know they are an accountant. Which one? Yeah. Oh, you're at the back. Okay, give us some to say to more for feedback. <laughs> So, you, you can live with a humble person for the whole year and not know what they are and what they have yes. because it's not necessary to yes. bring it. Amen. But inferiority complex works opposite of humility. Yeah. When you have got low self-esteem, you want to add value so that people can understand you are not an ordinary person then that is not humbleness. It's a sickness of inferiority complex. When God has really, as in the words of Murti Chesa, when God put you in a place of privilege, and there's no need for you to bring in a point of privilege. Mm. 
that you have. Because the point of privilege is not invited. Yeah. We didn't ask you to speak as a teacher. Yeah. So you just keep quiet. Don't tell us, I stand in the capacity of a teacher. We didn't say, who are you? What you have? What you don't have? We, we are all talking. We, we are all talking. Don't tell us you are a teacher. Mm -hmm. Unless if something you are asked, yeah. what discipline are you in? You say, no, I'm a teacher. They say, okay, no, there is a teacher here. Let's hear the perspective of what a teacher will answer like. Then you can speak as a teacher. And speaking as a teacher is not pride. But if you can put yourself in, it's pride. Let's bring it back into the house of God. Where we serve in different ministries and we serve in different departments. Let's take an example about uh, the ministry of Ashari. When we are ushers, we are all what? Ushers. So there is no magistrate usher, yeah. accountant usher, lawyer usher, um, what? Mechanical engineering usher. We are all ushers. And by the way, everywhere, you know, Mukwe Mukwe, the former chief justice. Is a, is a church usher, because he has seen. So when he comes there, he will not want people to stand up yeah. and greet him because he's a chief, chief justice. When we serve, yes. we leave our shoulders. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we really worship him, I want to worship him, the lawyer, mm -hmm. or, or worship her, the CEO. Yeah. We are all worshippers yes. by different graces yes. God has given to us. Yes. So yes. every time America redefines re on which song to select, well, no, you need to understand I'm an advocate. Yes. <laughs> How does your advocate come into the song yeah. that we sing? Yeah. There is no legality yeah. around that song. Yeah. There is no copyright that we, we invited your opinion. We are saying we will start with Rea Molewa and then Itlo Pelakim Madire, then Ritlota Ka Musarambe, and then Musarambe or Pelakim Mamasha. Mamasha, or Pelakim Mamasha, something like that. Then you, 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 you bring in, because you're a mathematician, you bring in a mathematical argument about our song selection and who will be singing. So, humbleness is to be loaded with answers and solutions mm -hmm. and keep quiet until you are invited mm -hmm. to speak or for your opinion to be staged. By the way, you know, and you can hear these people, their conversation, mm -hmm. it's not, but you are not invited. Mm -hmm. So when we say a person is humble, yeah. it means you can close the door mm -hmm. until you are asked to do it. That is why many people fail, fail the interview. You get in there, you knock, you pull the chair, you sit down. You've already failed. Lack of mannerism. Yeah. You're supposed to have waited. Be invited to sit down. And you take a seat and say thank you. Then they say here, we are dealing with a principled person. Mm. So humility will teach you your space. Mm. Where do I speak, where do I not speak? Yeah. And where do I pull what card? And where do I not pull what card? Mm. So, humility is not living false. It's acknowledging what God made you, but yet, when invited to say what you ought to say. That is why, in the verse that I requested, look at verse number 10. James, let's read this one. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up because you abased yourself although you had what was needed you didn't budge in yourself and who does this humility trait it's you, it's not God God will not humble you Father I pray please humble me I'm proud, no, wrong prayer he will send it back Humble yourself. You must humble yourself. God doesn't humble you. 
you must humble yourself. But about you, the journey of character development has little to do with God besides he gives you grace to realize and acknowledge the areas. But this whole thing is with me. If I am a bad person, God cannot change me. What God does, he saves me and he makes my spirit sensitive to begin to realize, no, no, that's not how we're supposed to live. No, no, that's not right. This contradicts to the scripture. No, no, the scripture is saying this, but, you know, this, 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 and that. So you have to work this area of humility yourself. And, and people look at you and say, ha, can't you all along, we were here talking with you, and you one, two, three, four, five. Then you need to know there is an element of humbleness. People that are not humble, you meet them day one, you know everything about them. A to Z. There is no area you don't know about their life. A to Z. You meet them once, not three days, once, in a conversation of one hour. You know everything A to Z. But qualification, where do they stay residentially? What companies do they work for? What and what and what and what? All you know all those things. Then it tells you you are not humble. And don't pray for God to humble you. Humble yourself. You need to learn to. Humble yourself. Arale balaba tuwako. Mushomu. We need to learn to do what? To humble yourself. You you will connect on YouTube as you drive there. Yeah, yeah just connect to YouTube, you'll find us. You you need to learn. To humble yourself. But about this one, Kilabujan Nit, Oganaba intercessor, Oganaba Muru, Oganaba Bishop, Oganaba a prophet. But if you don't take initiative to control the raging lion of pride inside of you, humility will kiss it bye bye. Then you must confront yourself and say, No matter, here you are not humble. How come you meet a person day one and they know A to Z about you? And 80% of the A to Z, they didn't ask you. <laughs> you just felt an edge in their space. But it's more about the man. Imagine how that would like that. And then now you start to be worried. Why but to it is because of your pride. And God resists the pride. One day, I said, 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 I I said, I said, I but you just feel umwaya kamuhari to tell us how much is it. <laughs> Ken, why why are you so resting? Why are you so restless? <laughs> that is why team dynamics, they are why? Because of lack of humbleness. Humbleness. You know when we serve in a team, we all have different privileges. Yeah. Somebody is educated, somebody is gifted, somebody is talented, somebody is anointed, somebody is graced, somebody has got a car, somebody has got a house, somebody doesn't have a house, somebody is renting. Imagine if now we, we have to bring in the things we have. We will not go anywhere. I remember a pastor was preaching the other day. And I'm going to tell you something that in this church, Surely none of you had ever experienced God in this dimension. This is the dimension where things are possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I know all of us in here, we're still praying to get to this dimension. But this is a dimension that 
tonight everybody will enter. Shout yeah 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 yeah. But yeah 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 yeah. Aaron, we bought a house of 1.3 million. Somebody give God the glory in the house. And one one person was seated just here. The land where they built in their house was four million. <laughs> and, and the preacher is introducing the highest dimension ah. that has not been seen in this church hey. of buying a house of 1.3 million <laughs> and the usher seated here is building a land a, a house on a land they bought for 4 million then we must ask the preacher to stop preaching and let the usher to bring the grace <laughs> you see it was unnecessary yeah. pride pulling up hey. in the name of testimony hey. in the name of showing people how high you are spiritual and in that height of your spirituality you catch a house of 1.3 million <coughs> People that are not even claimed to be spiritual, they catch a land Ace. of four million, they bought it cash. Yeah, yeah. Humble yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Humble. Don't, hey, don't say God. No, eco courage. There will be a right platform where you will need to tell those things that you need to tell into whatever. But do not use what the privileges of God to press other people down. Humble yourself. You, humble yourself, you, not God, you, not the Holy Spirit, you, not Jesus, you. Humble yourself is an activity, an exercise I need to do about myself. I need to admit here is pride, here is pride, here is an humbleness, I'm not humble. Here I need to confront this so that I can be able to serve with other people well. And then once you do that, God has got no option but to do what? to lift you. But if you lifted yourself, yeah. what will he do? He will abase you. That is the danger of self-exaltation. He will, he will abase you. Let's look, let's look at him. But he, he does what? He gives more grace. God gives what? More grace. You know what is grace? It's an appointment. You, you know that verse he says, how the grace of God was upon the church of Macedonia, that even in their poverty, they gave more. You remember that? So grace is an appointment. It means you are limited because of your poverty. But they are giving. Verse 1, Fela, verse 1. In how the grace of God was upon the church, the churches of Macedonia. And they gave beyond themselves. So grace is divine and ablement. So God gives more grace. And then what does he do? He resists the pride, the proud. That is why proud is the opposite of humbleness. God resists the proud. Then we come into prayer and fasting. You're wondering, why am I not winning? Why am I praying and not God resists you. resist. But I want to resist, it means push against. God pushes against you because of pride. God resists the proud, but he gives more grace, not even grace. And you're wondering, why now I had a belly good, not will let a very tongue at three level. Maramutu should not prosper a little bit of a little It is because they are humble. And when they are humble, what does God do? He gives more grace. To the humble, he gives more grace. But to the proud, 
I'm the most powerful sinner in this church. I have a one of Badra Mara. Wait until Mike gets into my hands. You know, usually Prophet Moabi doesn't dance, ne? but let the mic get into me. Whether it's a chorus or whether it's a worship song, they dance. Proud, Yabule. Proud, Yabule. Nagulin, Apostle Angelas, or even the little pity of us because. Hem mai ku cerikan ni, kerjakan kamu ke yang nyata. Yang nak watran ya, nampak lah. Hari raya, kiki rojam atau muzik pegi fela jadi ringan me. Marah cerikan ni, ini thomas kumra. Kakak benci ya buku ku kumra. Kini u kau fela ba yemel la likuri lima na basal la. Kya mono ruan jalan sama cici wa filor. Grand is speaking. You know, bright. Always wanted to be number one. Always wanted to be on top. Always wanted to be the best. Always wanted to be. And if people cannot recognize you are the best, ah, uh, give it hard. Problem. 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 Even if you didn't preach well, it must be it was fire, 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 fire. You 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 hit it hard, 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 hard. Even really, really, and there's no more space for growth yeah. and for development because they can't even be corrected mm -hmm. because you every time when you serve you, uh, all the people here they were serving mother up until you say none you know yeah. up until you say none that you would change a coffee that you would change a coffee and things like that but only you can be like a peter of the game holds a little your change but humbleness he says be the best and not know you are the best. Yeah. Amen. But it doesn't mean you are not the best. Be the best and not know you are the best. You think you are serving like all other people. You know, you are serving like you are you're doing what God called you to do. And, but the moment you attach words, when pride comes, then it cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. Yeah, kids who are one. They one of the type of visitors that we know. But when bread comes, there cometh shame. So the, the shame. <laughs> but when I want be so good, ne? and not comparing yourself with other people. And just keep on developing yourself. Why? Because you want to please God in the service you are rendering in the house of the Lord. That is humbleness and God gives one more grace and on top of that he does what he add grace give grace unto the humble but he giveth more grace God gives more grace to the humble and grace is the an man power so do a second um, Chronicles chapter 7 Verse 13 and verse 14. Or oh, Second Chronicles 7 14. Second Chronicles 7 14. Second Chronicles 7 14. But we all know if my people who are called by my name can do what? The first thing. If my people who are called by my name, can do what? Yeah. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sins, and will heal their land. Verse number 13. 13, 1, 3. If I shut up heaven, that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send the pestilence among my people, and if my people, who are called by my name, can humble themselves, I will reverse all the things that I said, 
if I shut up heaven that there was no rain, there will be rain. But only the shortcut to greatness in God is humility. Amen. The more you humble yourself on the steps, and you humble again, and you humble again. They must act number one. By what? The first quality there is humble yourself. I will humble them. You must humble yourself. So it means you must decide to humble yourself. And if you decide to humble yourself, God says, remember, we need to understand this scripture in context. In the days of Israel, it was the agricultural age. So So if you wanted to kill the nations at that time, you did. That is why Bible will say, and, and Samson got the foxes, tied them tail to tail, and touched them with fire to send them to the fields of the Philistine. So if you were to write that Bible today, you will say he closed the mines. You will not say the fields of, of the Philistine. Because now agriculture is just a small portion and not all people. But in Israel, in the days of the Bible, the economy of the time was controlled by famine. That is why even the visions and the dreams of Pharaoh and, and, and Joseph, they were all coming in symbols of farm because everybody in Israel understood farming. So Mudimu now have either Katoro, I can now watch WhatsApp, I can now watch Instagram, I can now watch Facebook, I can now watch Twitter. Because it is the language that was at that time. So you need to understand this verse not as the locust, as in this year, how we relate with them. They don't have value today. You can see a locust there, it was just a locust. But in that time, God will send locust to deal decisively with the fields of the Philistines. So that means they will have no food and they will die. But God says, even those locusts come and I open up, I, I found humble people. I will do what? Open up the heavens and it will rain again. So there is, there is promotion in grace that you get when you humble yourself. There is a promotion in grace that you get when you humble yourself. You know, when, when God really has put you into things and things are not in your head, you know, things are not always on your tongue and you're just a normal, real human being with other people, you do what needs to be done with other people, you live with other people the way you're supposed to live with other people, and then the day they know, when I'm with all these things, and you just kept quiet. I'm developing the quality of humbleness. I'm developing the quality of humbleness. Because God says, I can heal the land, and I can answer the prayer, and I can show my face, but number one, they must be humble. These people must be what? Humble. Yeah. We better to the glory of God. We <laughs> Come to Jesus. Grace. Yeah. Grace. Yeah. When you've got grace, imagine when you have a grace like that and you grow and you grow and you grow. I mean, grace by itself, it made the churches of Macedonia to be classical. Grace. Imagine when you, you grow and get more grace and get more grace and get more grace. You know the lady, um, Sarah, 
Wood Atterworth. We must check that lady, Sarah Wood Atterworth. The way she was so humble, God actually grew her and her. When, when she is preaching in Lotus, they say 50 kilometers away, the cops will rise from the musha. Jesus. The people will be hit by power. Strokes healed. 50 kilometers away, Africa. Get grace. Sarah would utter with. She, she will stand here, they say for 50 kilometers away from the area of her meeting. If there was a musha, cops will stop her. And she just prays so nice and say, Lord Jesus, let your grace cover this area. And in Haman's crowd, dead people come up. In Tembisa, stroke, people just jump from wheelchairs, they don't know what is happening. And then they started to realize wherever Sarah would utter with goes, 50, in the radius of 50 kilometers, wherever she's ministering, the grace is speaking. The grace. Imagine if, if grace can be unlocked by humbleness. And the more you humble yourself, the more grace pumps in. Amen. Uh, really courage to humble ourselves. Let, let's have the courage because we're going to be elevated and the impact of our ministries will increase. The impact of our ministries, not because we are we are super special or other, but we found the secret that when you humble yourself by the sight of the Lord, what will he do? He will lift you up. Uto Pahamish, when, when you humble yourself by the sight, and we are now moving from grace to more grace. We are moving from grace. Remember grace on its own, but the Bible says we are saved by grace. Grace is powerful by itself. Titus 3.11, it says, this grace teaches us to say no to ungodliness. In Acts 4.33, it says, the grace came upon them. None of them lacked anything. That's the power of grace. The Bible says in Romans, the more darkness abound, grace increased the more. So, this thing of grace, Barnabas, Humbleness yeah. and he reject her, Lulu push you away, he push her away. Get away and not get elevated. You know, when you, when you start to elevate yourself, and, and it's subconscious, this is the problem. Yes. It's subconscious, it kicks in when you are. Yeah, when, when, you, when, when you are less expected, it, it kicks in. But we're going to be intentional to work on the character yeah. of our heart. Paul says, hey, you are not ordinary. You are the chosen of the Lord. You are different. You are the beloved of the Father. Put on humbleness. We go 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 to defend yourself. Yeah. How fit the high? Grace, step two. What do you want to happening? Are it because you didn't defend yourself? Yes. When you are there, yeah. I am applying scripture. Yeah. Promotion. More yeah. grace. Hallelujah. What do you want to This is enough. If you're going to continue to humble yourself, yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to elevate you. And God is watching over his weight to fulfill it. Yeah. It's not just written to push time, God discipleship service. No, 
He's watching over the world to fulfill it. If you, if you do what? You humble yourself by the sight of the Lord. Every time you overcome the test of humbleness, there's one step of grace. Every time you overcome. And sometimes, yeah. sometimes yeah. Yeah. But, but, but because of humbleness, because of humbleness, you just say, Awa. Yeah. No, my best tacat. Kulungi leva. Eh, no, ma. By a kuluma, kulungi leva. Kulungi. But when you get home, another level. Grace. When you get home, another level. Grace. When you arrive at work, grace. And you say, Lord, what did I do? And God says, if you humble yourself, even if I had closed the heaven, I will open them because you humbled yourself. There is power in humbling ourselves. There is power in humbling ourselves. Prayer loses its sharpness when pride rules. Seeking the face of God loses its sharpness when pride rules. Let me conclude this session of today by showing you something. Proverbs chapter number 6. Verse number 13. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, he teacheth with his fingers. Number 14. Forward, forwardness is in his heart. Change this version into um, NIV. He plots evil deceit in his heart and he always stirs up conflict. <laughs> 15. <laughs> Therefore, disaster will overtake him in an instant. He will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. 16. Seventeen. Switch to King James. King James. James. Okay, let me read. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that divides wicked imagination, feet that be swift in running to mischief, 
a false witness shall speak lies. He that saw discord, God hates. But the first thing that God hates is haughtiness of spirit. And among the pride can destroy a marriage that stood for 27 years. Where a person will feel I will lose my self-worth and image in saying I'm sorry. 27 years of marriage. And a person says, if I apologize, I will lose my self-worth then the, the marriage that was built for 27 years goes down the drain because of pride. That is why God resists the pride. Ah. You see, what, what Solomon says, go to verse 16. Go to verse 16. Verse number 16. Pride is not just sin. God hates it. I agree. Sometimes, Rena, we think the most horrible sin in the church is a sexual sin. Even in the church, the only sin that they excommunicate people is a sexual sin, isn't it? In all churches that we all come from, Bari, Bamu excommunicate. There is a sexual sin. A pastor who lies can excommunicate a sexual sin because the sin of sex is the most horrible in the eyes of the church, but not in the eyes of God. I'm not saying sexual sin is acceptable, should be condoned. No, no. I'm saying it doesn't fall in the six sin that God hates. But to the church is number one. But to God, the six sins that God hates. The seventh one is abomination. What is the first sin that God hates? Proud. Proud. Pride. Why God hate pride? Because it separates the fellowship between you and God. It makes God to resist you. And he doesn't like to resist his people. But when, when, when you put on pride, he resists the pride. That is why he says, I hate this sin because it's a separation between me and my people. God, he says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. But the pride, I resist. But my desire is never to leave you, is never to forsake you. But not, not, not when you put on pride. But I want to pride disadvantage you more than any other thing. He hates, this one is not just sin. He hates it. It's a sin that he hates. God hates pride. And then a pride destroys different ministries in the church. She's the leader. Uh, uh, she must drink what? Not me. Me. Do what? I must say, say what? Sorry. To who? Baba H. Yeah. Moki Park Station. This top of my arms. Man, na. Ha. Mohale na la mochavale. Na. Moki Park Station. This top of my arms. And you look into yourself. Your life is going down. Yeah. Yet you call yourself Park Station. <laughs> <laughs> What is parking there? Humble yourself. Amen. 
and all, this is a quality in our character. We need it because as for bride, is not our option. I mean, imagine a life where God resists you, where, where God prohibit and block you. So where it strive, you have to be by yourself. But you see, when you are humble, in a true sense of humble, sometimes even when you are not wrong, you say, I'm sorry. Yeah. Because of yeah. this thing inside of you, you are, you are just so humble. Yeah. It, you know, they say, no, you are not supposed to pack the chair like this. You are supposed to take it like this. Then it becomes an argument and nobody is sitting the people there. You know, you know what? I'm sorry, next time we'll do better. Then we continue to serve. But we're not because on our park station, this stop a more way. Go park station, Nanga said, Mena Yindo, I'm next. Umfasa and Delela, Mena Yiti, you apologize, Umfas. I'm an Indo. I'm next. It's a problem, but I'm doing it. It's a problem. Many ministries are suffering. And God hates pride. What will you lose? Murdishes. By just saying, I'm sorry. You won't change complexion. You are the way you want. <laughs> Even if you say, I'm sorry, you will still be, have the same complexion as you have. No. What? what are you going to lose? You lose pride. And that's good. It's gain, losing pride. You are getting closer to God. He resists the proud. When we serve in the house of the Lord, my prayer is one. Let pride move aside. You know, recognize when you made wrong. We are human, we will err, we will make mistakes. But if you are humble and train yourself to be humble, train your heart to be humble, you know, be quick to manifest humbleness in your heart and say, no, I am sorry, and God shall lift you up. Imagine being lifted by God. Who can take you down? Yes. Huh? Yes. And if you humble yourself, imagine if all the people serving in the church can humble themselves. What's going to happen? Yeah. Everywhere, everywhere we serve, we serve with humble people. Everywhere, everywhere. And, and I feel we're in a home where we pray to a more well level of Mojora. Yeah, yeah, keep at station. Yeah, keep at station. Yeah, keep at station. Yeah, keep at station. Correct each other with love. Put on love. Put on humbleness. Yeah. As a belief. Let's all serve in love. Let's all serve being humble. What to destroy synergy in the teams in ministry? Who were not supervisor was so bright? And the government supervisor was so bright. Waba which all were now yet in that ten. Bawu wa kaufer. So that informs in your character. Low fit a mokre game who say Baba Wuja Bari Iawalu Ndwela Gatura. Nagiaba Wuja Kibuju. Now I tell people and all. So you need to cut it. Cut it. Circumcise your heart. You know, so that you can be humble. Yeah. Humble. You know, eat all the man. Be humble. And the Lord will elevate you. Because as for pride, God hates. And I'm, I'm going to lead us that we pray this morning. We are not praying to be humble because God will not answer that prayer. We are going to say, Lord, give us the capacity yeah. Amen. to recognize where we are wrong yeah. and manifest the fruits of harmonious. Baba, we are here. You just sat next to people. You didn't greet them. Because you're holding on to the clutch of last week. <laughs> and, and you have made it acceptable. And all of a little moon on that attitude. If it out there, we'll be back and more. Little kindness, worry, man, please shift the oil. Is there somebody here? Go away, one other attitude, yellow. Get tap, pull. We'll be allowed one number, so that's important. 
Let not this is my church. <laughs> Let me hear this is my church. They cannot tell me anything. God resist. Actually, what I want to do sometimes, we mustn't desire too much of praying before we desire to work our heart out. And say, Lord, into cliche kamo because then I can't help it. I can't do more. I'm I'm pushing back. After who can push again? Do more back. All I'm gonna do more. if it was Satan pushing you back, oh, well, you call the Holy Ghost. Yeah. It's the power of the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost come, and you will push away. But if it is God, who will push away God? Yeah. Let's put on humbleness. In the year 2024, when we serve God, let's put in humbleness. It will not be too easy. It will be challenging. Yeah. And humbleness, it's close to meekness. Mm. I, I, will, I will do meekness and, uh, and patience maybe next week. But humbleness, from humbleness, there's still a higher state yeah. called meekness. So meekness is humbleness at its highest form. Mm -hmm. when, you are, when you are humble, you get grace. But when you are meek, you get God. I will show you next to you. Humbleness is the height. Meekness is the height of humbleness. Yeah. So when you are humble, you can't be meek if you don't know how to be humble. Yeah. So when you are humble at the periphery of humbleness, you find meekness. With humbleness, you find grace. With meekness, you find God. So God must give me capacity that I can begin to work out the journey of humility. Recall what this. If a year can pass, having never apologized to anyone, no. you are not humble. Yeah. How are you? And I like how Maburu, they built this quality in their day-to-day -day life. Had another meeting only two minutes late. But sorry, who are? Sorry, who are? I guess big lot and nefas. What's that name? Yeah, I do. Hey, traffic! Hey, traffic! But how is everyone here? How is everyone here? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. They take their seat. Yeah. <laughs> so those people in their language. They've built it in certain things to make them to look humble yeah. and to manifest humbleness natural. Literally, yeah. literally, wherever you, you exist with them. If they came one minute late in a meeting, yeah. Yeah. they will not start by greeting. Uh -uh. Before they touch the seat, they'll say, yeah. 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 Sorry, what? Sorry, I'm late. Let's manifest humbleness. Let's manifest humbleness. Every time you give a white, a, a white person something, put it. Thank you, word. Thank you, word. You give to any <coughs> Yanisho. <laughs> Thank you, God. It's part of them. 
هر یکی این فرسه کنیم اومو فرسه خلو بوس نجد پیتر لبوا کی کارکتا یا بینو لبوا هبا او یفا سبار نمو لبوا ربا او فلسطین این که بار لو ایمل لب the whole service but I'm not the whole service be thankful they gave you a chair yeah. and if one only the suggestion level up pay sales it feel you hey then all know hey let's all make a mutua wash it in and a cover to mutua wash it in and get my mother to the bathroom so we can do this type of program we can go back to the bathroom or if you can go back to the bathroom because people are logical about the age or now in a covering. Yeah. We don't know. This thing of, of sitting here is not appropriate. I want to sit there. Why? So I can just sit there. <laughs> you are making people's work hard in serving the Lord. It's already difficult. And you're making it unbearable. You know? That is why the Muruti are living in the and we are little one. I am two. I am three. I am three. four. I am 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 four. Not iPad man, exam pad. We flip it like a gum round the world. We flip it like a gum round the world. Mara, I'm not even allowed to be there. I'm so far away. I only have to prepare. You're encouraging a brother. You're encouraging a sister. Amen. Amen. Then we are manifesting humbleness. Hmm. Leave that out, Bella. Let me leave Jaya for Jaya. You know we're worried. We're carrying a. Six guns in the mother. You know, you know, fellas, you can't just be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, be like, I'm not gonna be like, "Go, me, Remanifeste butu bamudi. That we shall not do. That is kaba too hard for other people yeah. that are serving the Lord. Yeah. Amen. That we shall not do. Yes. Hey, we fit a while we are graduating from college in Chwa. We are going to pack a more butu by one. Marewa kubela ure high in body. In a melee. If you want to be with us, we are not going to do it. Yeah. Why? Uskalo wa kreu. Di adi sudah mimo ke iti murenin. Risa belum mui wall. Agar mana bom di? Di play wall. Kira how mudi mui flow. Amen. Humble yourself. Not God help you to. You humble yourself. I need to make a decision. Heki cua kasebisi ni kilo bah humble. Heki cua kasebisi ni kilo bah humble. Heki cua kasebisi ni kilo bah humble. Heki choka sebisi ni kiloba hambo. Heki choka sebisi I'm going to be what? Hambo. Ari bushelechi. Heki choka mo kiloba hambo. Heki choka mo kiloba hambo. Tell yourself I'm going to be hambo. Ari bushelechi mbana ba mudi mire I'm going to be hambo. Eh eh ali bule ire I'm going to be hambo. Eh ari try la bune I'm going to be hambo. Say it for the fifth time, I'm going to be humble. Try it for the sixth time, I'm going to be humble. Number seven, I am humble. I am humble. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Hmm? By humility and the fear of the Lord are what? Riches, honor, and life. We are compare, we are build, we are human. By what? Humble yourself, man of God. On a reverse, ne? It's better to sit at the back 
and be brought to the front than to take yourself in the front. I remember one day we went to, I went to preach. Uh, as a guest speaker, they invited me. And when we get, when we get there, I don't know what I'm saying. So they get the capital tanga. Then Bajia Beduena, that a Bajia that I'm Misha Pupi, Bajia Nakumra Bamufa protocol. I feel she took that. Bamujiava Highly anointed of God. He's the author. He's the nobody. Let's have put our hands together and welcome the apostle of God. Then about what protocol about Kitty Melaway, Kaimela Pomra, Katata with you. Katamuka. Kamikada Namala stage. Kabadumini Shakamoka Kalina Lamra Najesh. Kabadur Kiavarata. By them putting me at the back, there was no need for commotion. When they invite me, I will still stand up from there and come. There was no need for the meeting. And no, no, I sat there. And after more, Bapo Vatlata Bamushi Kumra. Humbleness in a test. Yeah. Uh, but test. Yeah. Uh, humbleness. Yeah. But, but test to know that survival or But 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 just learn to humble yourselves. Yeah. Like when they put you, appreciate. Yeah. We know you are a director, you are a living manager, you are a structural supervision specialist intelligence. <laughs> you are all those things. <laughs> ne? But when you come here and they put you on, uh, they give you a lowly position, take it. Yeah. When the right time comes, the they will know yeah. what they've done. Is dishonorable. But Oscar, Oscar, he learned or over copy. Have we a comra? No comra. Have we a copy? Yeah, copy. Humble yourself and God. And you will keep on going high and high and high. And they will say, What is your secret? Is grace attracted by humbleness? Amen. Amen. Really, well, we're going to pray. Give us five minutes.